Well, for more, TRT World producer Hossam Abu Gabal joins me now live in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. You're an Egyptian. Yes. Do you feel there's any reason to actually celebrate today and mark this anniversary? Well, for many Egyptians, they feel that the, there is no reason to celebrate. Um, revolution uh, usually implies change, and uh, for a lot of Egyptians, there, not only has there been no change, uh, in essence, any change has been actually uh, made Egyptians worse off. So many Egyptians are now poorer today than they were in 2011. Uh, their rights and their civil liberties are far more restricted today than they were seven years ago. So for many people, the only change that's happened has been change for the worse and maybe uh, a bit of uh, going back on where they were seven years ago. If it's gone from bad to worse, do you miss Hosni Mubarak? For many Egyptians, I think the idea of Hosni Mubarak is romanticized, and I think a lot of people will say that during the time of Hosni Mubarak, things uh, were better and absolutely things were a lot more stable, but saying that the entire world was a lot more stable during that time. So a lot of Egyptians, like I said, romanticized the time of Hosni Mubarak, but many other Egyptians will also remember that um, you know, at the time of the uprisings in 2011, Egypt was, uh, you know, not a great place for many of its citizens. Mm. So th there will be a, a mixed feelings about that. And now, going into this election, if we can call it an election, given that there almost is no yeah. opposition now, what do you think Al Sisi is thinking? I mean, having to maneuver in this way uh, to keep opposition mm -hmm. candidates off the ballot, do you think he's scared? I feel he is, yes, absolutely. I think he is, uh, he was at least worried he shouldn't be anymore since he's eliminated mm -hmm. almost all uh, possible candidates uh, to run against him. It's surprising he's scared because I think uh, despite a lot of the problems in Egypt, Sisi still has a large uh, number of people supporting him and backing him uh, in power. So it's very surprising that he didn't even allow for a, um, you know, for lack of a better phrase, a cameo candidate to run against him to at least give the illusion mm -hmm. of a free and fair election to the rest of the international community. But he doesn't have the support of Egypt's youth. He does not, no. Uh, a lot of Egypt's youth are quite opposed to Sisi and uh, his regime now, which can be called a regime. I, I find it so striking, though, because within the last year, I heard a lot about the potential return of the Mubarak family mm. in the form of Gamal mm. Mubarak. Where has that gone? So Gamal Mubarak's return of Gamal Mubarak or the Mubarak family in general has been talked about a lot. And I think last year, Gamal and Alaa Mubarak were seen taking pictures with people in, uh, in a number of uh, public spaces and a number of um, national events. Uh, that is quite tricky. And I think uh, to understand that, the Gamal uh, Mubarak return or the possibility of a Mubarak return, if you go back to 2011, a lot of people in Egypt were saying that the army turned against Hosni Mubarak at the time because he was pondering the idea of putting his son in, in, in power. And Egypt has a long history of military rule, of its presidents having a military background. And Gamal being a civilian, uh, for the most part, is not something that would fly well with um, members of the armed forces. So it's very difficult to imagine. And there have been some instances where people have uh, wondered whether the Mubarak family could be making a return, but it's very difficult to imagine. So, and we saw Sisi's response to uh, Sami Anan this week, mm. uh, a very high-ranking military general. So if he, within the army, is um, reacting to uh, any opposition like this, you know, you can only imagine how he would react to a civilian, especially okay. one from the Mubarak family. Okay, Hossam, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks so much Thanks. for coming in.